going on guys i am back we're talking player accolades so on wednesday it was announced that uh players will be getting 500 dollars if they lead in goals uh per average in a game or uh, goals per game um, assists per game saves per game of course there's also mvp uh for the league play season uh but that doesn't really have like a race towards it uh and then also a dfh community award whoever shows the most love i guess to the community not really sure how that one's going to work yet and then the world championship mvp will also get some cash on the side so i'm going to break down for north american europe where we are right now in the races for the goals assists and saves uh some of these guys have played less games though so th some players are going to fluctuate a lot more than others that have basically their seasons are almost done they got one more game left a few teams while well, some other teams still have four left so some of these numbers are going to change a lot but We'll, uh, we'll check out how the races are going. So we'll do top five in each category. First, let's go over to NA. I'm not on the right thing. There we go. NA, here we go. So goals. Right now, JNAPS is in the lead at one goal per game. His teammate right behind him, 0.82. Both these guys and Jacob as well at 0.82. Really tied for second, but, I, you know, numbers just leave it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, really, these guys, they've all played 11 games. Uh, so they played three series. They still have four series left. So these numbers are going to fluctuate a ton. On the other hand, we have Miho. He's played 26 games so far. So over double, and he's sitting at 0.81. Selfless only has one more series left, and that's against Energy. Uh, they play this week. So we'll see where Miho sits at the end of this. He, not necessarily the favorite to win it, but if he has a good series... He could be sitting pretty close near the top and then just see how these other guys play out for the final week of the regular season. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we got Turtle as well at a .76. He's played 21 games. I think they have two series left. Yeah, they have two series left, so he's going to be able to fluctuate a little bit. But right now, it looks like it's uh, G2 versus Energy, that race there. Jacob actually had zero goals in... Uh, their week uh, three matchup, it was their third game. He had zero goals, had all the assists. But he's still near the top from his first week, his dominating performance there. So it's going to be a race. It looks like it's going to come down to pride. G2 for synergy. I think Miho has a chance to steal it, but that's where we're at right now in goals. Next up, we have uh, J Naps. Oh, it's showing my PowerPoint slide. They've caught me. They've caught me. Uh, then we got assists. J Naps again leading in this. This is why he's my favorite for MVP so far at 0.91 assists. Again, his teammate Kronovi, 0.73. Again, G2, a very offensively heavy team, so no surprise there. Matt at .71, How many? and he's got two series left as well. Again, sitting at 21 games, so he'll fluctuate a little bit. Uh, while well, JNF's currently have four series left, so uh, they will fluctuate a ton. Then we got Vince sitting at .64. They still have four series left, so he's going to fluctuate a ton. Jacob as well, .64 assists lots of movement here there's still plenty of time for anyone to sneak in and grab this again because some of the best teams still only have four i have four series left so not even halfway through the season yet for some of these guys so this should change a lot actually in the assists compared to goals where maybe miho is going to be that tracker of like after this week we'll see where he lands we'll see if people can beat him it'll still fluctuate a lot but at least we'll have one guy solid in there Next up, we go to saves. Right now, memory commanding lead at 2.79. Now, one thing to keep in mind, like for assists, Pluto is actually in the lead at one per game, but you need to play 15 individual games to have a chance to win these awards. So uh, Pluto is not going to hit that 15 mark. There's only one more series left for Selfless. So at most, he can play nine games if he did play in that series. Memory right now is sitting at 14 games. He, uh, he didn't play in the last week. Because he was on vacation. So they have one series left. But he's, he's at 14 games. So as long as he plays in that series. He will have the minimum amount of games played. And this is why. Well, the reason why they have this. Is so someone doesn't come in for one series. Has a really great series. And then he just sits on like a five save average. So memory. Command and lead here. Again Rizzo. A, a, a 1.82. Still have four series left. So he's got some time. But to be fair. It's going to be extremely hard to catch memory. I don't think anyone's ever been. Uh, uh, had this many saves before, like, ever. Uh, I'm actually going to check real quick in season number two and see where we land at. Yeah, the highest in season number two was 2.1. So, and that was from Shaw Set. So, Memory put up a ton of saves. I expect that to continue against G2 because G2 is going to get a lot of shots. So, I feel like Memory's probably got this one on lock as long as he plays. But we got Rizzo in second. We got Vince in third. 
Again, both these guys have a lot of series left. Klazik's in fourth. He also has four series left. And then his teammate, Halcyon, sitting in fifth. So Halcyon's probably not catching memory anytime soon. So realistically, memory's got this one locked up probably. It's the only one that I feel like is locked up between either region. Moving on. We'll go over to the Europe side of things. Let me uh, bust this open here. Go over to my fancy PowerPoint. On the European side of things, we have goals. We got the double flip side right now at 1.36 and 1.0. Marky and Cooks here. Again, though, they've only played three series. Stole a lot of time. Marky has a pretty commanding lead, but it's not the end of the world yet. He has five more goals than Cooks. Uh, but... If he has a zero goal series, which is very possible, then uh, he can fall back down to... Like, if Cooksier gets five goals in series and Marky gets none, uh, none, then he'll catch up there. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder for the other guys to catch up. We have Niels. I'm trying to see how many... I think Leftovers has, what, two games left? Let me check. I had this open, but I broke it. There we go. Leftovers, yeah. So they have two series left. It's going to be hard to catch. Niels and Ferrer both are... I'm sorry, Niels only has one series left with Kaunos, and then uh, Farah has two left with the leftovers. And then Diva at .93, he's still got four series left, so he still has time to catch up. It's really, will Marky come down to the field over these next four series? Again, it's not even halfway done with the season, so this one should fluctuate a lot. Then, of course, if you have the two leading goal scorers, someone's got to pass on the ball. So going over to assists, we have Greasy leading the pack right now, just barely over Violent Panda. Both of them haven't played a ton of series yet. They both have a ton left. Both have four series to play. So, and uh, that's Violent Panda with a 3-0 record, too, at .92 assists. Looking pretty good. Then we got Mystic, .77. They have three series left? Yeah, uh, two series left, I'm sorry. Two series left uh, uh, for Mystic, so... He won't fluctuate as much. We'll see if Greasy and Panda comes down to the field a bit. Sicky, 0.7. Freaky at 0.69. Uh, Freaky's only got one series left. Sicky has two. So keep that in mind. This one could fluctuate a lot. 0.93 assists. Like last season, we had someone around a one assist per game. It's usually just below one assist. So it seems like Greasy and Panda are leading the field there. I expect them to stay up there. I expect there's going to be a race between those two. Mystic might be able to creep in there. Uh, but we'll see. There's still plenty of time. Next up, we got saves. Mr. K-Dop, the K-Drop himself at 2.36 saves per game. It's not a bad number. And they have, uh, they've played 22 games. So that number is consistent. It's not like some of these teams will only played like 12 games. Uh, they have two series left on Mocket. Freaky, once again, we just talked about him before, 2.19. He could easily catch uh, K-Dop. It's still pretty close there. He's only got one series left, so he's going to have a pretty decent series while K-Dop comes down the field. Snasky, two series left. Uh, Maestro, 1.79. Four series left, and Siki, his teammate with Snasky, at 1.78. I think the Lothrovers could move up a little bit. They have to play some offensively talented teams. They have to play Mocket, who should put up a lot of shots against left uh, Leftovers. Then they also play Gale Force. I feel like Gale Force doesn't put up as many shots, so that might equal itself out. Uh, but we could actually look it up right now because why not? While we're talking about it, we'll see who who's putting up the most shots per game. Actually, Mock is putting up the least. It just seems like they put up a lot of how fast they play. But you know, what am I to know, right? Pocket Aces actually puts up more Gale Force, third most shots. So it's the opposite. I just feel like Mock has the speed. Maybe that they're just not getting the shots as much, but. We'll see how this plays out. Still a lot to play. I will probably do another update video next week. We'll see where people settle in at. Uh, but also then we got the MVP watch. And honestly, for NA, uh, I think right now we have JNAPS probably leading the pack. Then I have Jacob who's doing phenomenally as well. It might come down to that G2 versus energy matchup. If one of those two has an amazing series, I could easily see them getting the MVP. Then Timmy as well on selfless. Having a great season. I don't think they're going to finish top two, though. And I think that's going to hurt their MVP chances uh, for that side. On the European side, like, you can't uh, argue, like, Marky and Cooks. We'll see how the rest of the season plays out for them. Same with, like, a Devo on Northern Gaiman. Then Violent Panda, I think, is having a phenomenal season so far. Again, they haven't played a lot of games, though. It's really hard to tell right now. Uh, and KDOP on Mocket is 
going ham, but they keep losing. So it's going to be hard to give him MVP. But those are my guys to look out for. So Of course, there's also some leftover players. Like Honestly, all three have kind of stepped up in, in different roles, so it's really hard to choose just one. Uh, but if they continue their hot streak, uh, we'll see how much further they go, and maybe one of them can push up for the MVP race. Of course, the MVPs are for $1,000. The goals, assists, save leaders all get 500 So JNAPs, uh, like honestly, might double up on his side over here right now he's leading in two of the categories so memory is the only one that's really had has anything locked up you expect him to get that but g2 kind of leading the way in most of these on the north american side even rizzo and saves has a chance an outside chance to make it but we got crone assist right behind and rizzo and goals right behind as well so should be fun to watch how this plays out if you want to keep track at home just keep track while the games are going on this weekend all the good teams basically are playing two games this week, uh, except for leftovers, I think. So keep an eye on these teams and see how these players um, are performing. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you up to date on the leaders throughout the season. There's only one more week, like honestly. So I'll do another one probably next week. Uh, I kind of stopped the three stars just because it was a lot of work and I've been extremely busy. This is a little bit easier for me. So we're going to follow this all the way through but yeah thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time catch the rlcs on the weekends man and rlcs overtime on wednesdays a lot of fun we have a good time hope you guys like my prop game and we'll see you next time later